Here I could say maybe the most, or let's say one of the most dangerous and common negative emotion. I would say fear, which slash insecurity. I mean, I speak from experience now. You know, I you always try to get to the root of a problem. Obviously, people will tell you, my problem is my mother, my problem is my father, my problem is my boss, my problem is I was abused, my problem is this. Those are circumstantial factors. If you really get to the root, what really stops people from achieving their dreams and aspirations, from having healthy relationships, from being honest, is fear. Because what happens when you're hurt, let's say as a child, in any way traumatized, but you go, you go back into your shell and you're like afraid, I'm afraid to speak. I may be judged, I may be laughed at, I may be dismissed. That's what invalidation does. Now, of course, if you grow up in a very nurturing home, you have the confidence. So that's why self-confidence, self-esteem would be the counter, the, the positive emotions. What's the negative? Fear and security. For sure, those are. And one more element to it, they're so powerful, they're invisible. You don't see it. Like, you know, a divisible enemy, okay, at least I can fight it. Most people don't say, oh, you know, I wake up, I'm terrified. It's not like fear, you're trembling. It's just an inner, almost paralysis, like you can't move forward because you're afraid of failure, you're afraid of success, you're afraid of judgment, you're afraid of what people are gonna say. So that, uh, to me, hands down, are the, the most negative emotions. Now, they're not necessarily the loudest. You know, anger, for example, or uh, aggression. But even anger and aggression, you could probably trace also to some fears, and that's how you're compensating. At the end, at the end of the day, the only most powerful force to fear is, is, is Hashem, is God. Because human beings, our fear is of humans. Our fear is of, of, of uh, life. And God is beyond. Those that are able to touch something divine in their lives and able to hold on to it is what gives them the counter. That's what I believe the Jews had in the Holocaust even. They had that amuna, the, the, the faith and the trust, is something greater to life. Now, they didn't suffer less, but it gave them an additional resource. It just gives you the hope, like we say, Vihisha Amdalanu Passover Seder, that our faith, our, the promise is given to us. It's, it's like uh, when you're tied above, you don't fall below expression. You need something stronger than you to get you out of fear, because as the, ta the Talmud says, Ein Chavish Matas, that's me, a person in fetters cannot free themselves. So how are you going to, if, you, you, if your fear is your problem, how do you get out of it? You yourself are part of the problem. So as they say, you need something outside of the system to help you free yourself from the system. And that is definitely some form of divine faith, divine commitment. I see many people who are committed to something positive in their lives. That counters the fears. The last thing you want is fear controlling you, which means I don't do anything. You know, like the people will say, give me some, get rid of my fear, then I'll start doing things. And I would say, start doing things and your fear will, get, will dissipate.